Guys, I'm going to do a quick little video today uh, exporting animation from Maya and taking it into Unreal Editor. So the first thing I need to do is isolate my skelly mesh. The skelly mesh being the skeleton and the mesh only, nothing but. Uh, if I put my joints on here, uh, I've got them hidden, so maybe I won't do that. Let's go back. Uh, I need just my skeleton otherwise known as my armature here and my mesh by default um, in the hik you will also have your if i just make these visible you will also have your control rigs the ik and the fk i don't need these they don't they don't go into engine so i need to bake this down just onto the skeleton so I will do that first. I'm just going to put this in a T pose. There is my T pose. And I'm going to export just the skeleton and the mesh. Now you'll notice this actually has animation on it, but I don't care. I'm just going to save a new keyframe here, even though this has loads of animation here. And I'm just going to save this particular frame so if I select the, doo -doo -doo, where am I? Yeah. If I select my skeleton definition here on my HIK and just delete my control rig, it will snap it into its T-pose and delete all of the animation, leaving me with just my mesh and my skeleton. So now that I have those selected, I'm going to go to my game exporter and making sure I'm in the first tab model, not animation clips or time editor, just model. And I want my smooth mesh. I'll pull this down a little bit and in my settings, I'm going into Unreal. So Z is up. I always export in FBX 2014. It is stable and it works. I don't want to take the animation, just the skelly mesh. So I'll pick where this is going. And I'm putting it in my exports folder. And this is my skelly mesh. So export that. And I already have a new project open in Unreal. This is just a third person. Uh, I haven't done anything to it yet. So first thing I will need to do is make a new folder for my Hulk model. Inside of there, I'm likely going to need a folder for his anims. Uh, the BP and the Skelly Mesh can stay on top, so that is that created. Okay, exported, lovely. Okay, so now I'm going to try and import this. Uh, bum, 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 bum. So I just need to import an asset. So let's locate that. As I remember, it was under a lot of different submenus. Skelly Mesh 17 Meg seems about the right size, but we'll only really know when we bring it into the engine. Uh, I can't attach it to a skeleton because it is the skeleton. I don't need to import animation. I will make it Force Front X. Um, just in case there's something wrong, there shouldn't be. It should be the right um, 
should be facing the right way as I've put Z facing up. But just in case, I'm going to tell it to force front X. Okay, import. And we should have the skeleton and the mesh and they should be attached with no problems and all the textures, lovely. Give it a couple of seconds to combine these shader, shaders. And now we'll open up our skelly mesh. And these are, uh, ah, here we go. And here are all of our joints. This looks like it came in fine. Uh, let's grab his arm and just rotate that. Yep, he has come in fine. So that bit worked. We now have our skelly mesh and from here on out, we're just going to export animation data only. We don't need the mesh ever again. Now uh, we have him in and we can just export animations alone. So hopefully, actually, I can just go back in time to before when I deleted this animation and maybe just maybe uh, well let me try exiting the current tool I don't have a current tool try that uh, I was hoping I could just undo and not have to load this up again but it doesn't matter uh, let's load the idle. Okay, just quick check. Okay, so just breathing. And we need to do a similar thing. We're going to export the animation out, but we only need the, um, the animation on the joints. We don't need any of the control rig. So if I just go in and just select the joints and make sure to click uh, to click select hierarchy and then we'll go to our game exporter and this time we'll go to animation clips now hopefully because we only have the skeleton selected we're able to just bake out this animation and then we'll be able to reattach it in engine so export selection so it doesn't take anything else uh, bake animation FBX 2014 and I don't need embent media because I don't need the textures again and now I just need to tell it the length of the clip now if I had all of my animation on in one Maya seam file I could just make a selection of clips and change the times and give them names but I only have one in each so I'll keep it with this I've already got my animation framed so I I don't need to change this timing, it's coming perfect. I will just call it idle. And let's redirect that. Oh, perfect, it's in the right place. And this is Hulk. Oh, anim underscore. I'll copy that so that when I do other animations, I can also just paste that in. So let's export and cross our fingers that it all worked out okay and we'll come into engine fine. Export successful, but let's see what happens in engine. Okay, Hulk Anims, let's import a new asset and we want Hulk Anim Idle. Open this, and because it doesn't have um, a mesh or anything else attached, it's just the animation data, we now need to tell it which skeleton it's going to be attached to, and that is our skelly mesh. Should have called that Hulk skelly mesh, but too late for that, and it's in. So force front x axis again, and let's import. And if we click on this, 
it should and it does have the Hulk idle in. Perfect. So it's attached itself to the mesh that we had in there and our idle is working. Let's go back into Maya and we can do a similar thing to the other animations we've got here. What do I have? I have a jump. Yep. Let's make him jump. Okay. Again, that's framed. Perfect. Animation clips, export selection, make a new clip, call it jump. Bake animation up is Z FBX 2014. Give it a directory. By default, it knows where to go now. And we are Hulk underscore capital A anim underscore. And first thing I need to do is actually select what I'm exporting. So just the top level of the skeleton and then select hierarchy. So now everything is exactly the same as it was. Click export. Excellent. Now going back to Unreal. Let's go out of that. And let's import this new animation. That was the jump. Again, we'll tell it which skeleton to reference. That's our skelly mesh. Force front, we remembered. And import. And we have lift off. Excellent. Okay, so that worked fine. So this is a, a fairly standard way of working, but also a really stable way of working. Um, by doing things this way, uh, I can make really small animation files. If I go to my actual folder, um, where am I? Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so my actual, my Maya files here aren't too bad, but if I export them out as an FBX, which has the texture, the animation, and the model, and the skeleton, they end up being like 18 megs just for a jump. However, when I'm exporting just the animation, we then just get 2 meg files, well, 2.1 megs. Um, so a massive reduction in size and no excess data and less less room for error. So this is the way I like to work. Um, it keeps everything nice and tidy. Uh, in Unreal, we just have our skelly mesh brought in and then in our animation folder, we're just exporting out the animation itself. So nice and tidy. Things can be changed and switched around really nice and quick. Um, let's just before we go, I'll chuck our Hulk in the scene. Oh, yeah, he's tiny. <laughs> and with him selected, let's tell him to reference an animation asset. So just an animation file. And let's have him jumping. Okay, there he is. I'll click play. So he should just be permanently jumping now. And there he goes. I've got my quality settings quite low, but there is our Hulk jumping away. I can jump too. He's He's got Marvel time on though, so he doesn't float in the air like this guy. <laughs> um, that was all I wanted to show today. Uh, just essentially how to deal with export and import with Unreal. It's the same for other game engines. Um, there are some things that you can alter, you know, you can actually export things and keep your um, your rig and sometimes it will let you off with that in game engines, but it won't actually let you take it in there. So there's no point in having the added risk of things, things going wrong by exporting your uh, control rig. So it's a good thing to get into the practice of just exporting out your skeleton and your mesh. And then when you export your animations, just your animations. Keeps things uh, 
tidy and it keeps the file sizes smaller. That's all for today. I hope this was useful and if you liked the video, leave a like and subscribe. Take care guys.